Hey you guys, jman 37 x are bringing you episode 112 of Epic Battle Fantasy V. Sorry. <laughs> Last time, we got to the end, almost the end of the Crystal Caverns. We cleared out, I think, exactly this screen, which had uh, three surprising counters as you go through it. And we got to the, I guess, kind of the, the molten core of the, the Crystal Caverns here. Um, you can see we get a little peek as to the boss ahead. And... Uh, just one encounter stopping us from getting to the boss. However, I think I've decided that my plans for this video are to take out this encounter, and then I'm just going to do prep the entire rest of the time. I mentioned it briefly at the end of the last video, I believe. Um, this is my least favorite boss in the game. Um, I, I I don't think there's there's any contest in my mind. For a while, I would have said Neon Valhalla. Well, honestly, I don't think so. The thing about Neon Valhalla here, let me let me try and get some sort of plan of attack going here. Um, I guess we'll do some bombs, bomb damage setup mostly. Um, I'm not sure how all in I want to go on that. Uh, I think I think we'll go all in. We'll see how it pans out for us. We'll level these guys. Oh right, they're gonna be the same as us. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, we're not going to kill the, the monolith here, but maybe if we're lucky, we can take care of most everything else. He does have a bomb weapon equipped, okay. Um, so the thing about Neon Valhalla is that it's a really tough fight. It's... Oh, that, was, that actually was very good. Um, it, it's a very challenging fight. But it's really only super challenging once. I, In my opinion, the hard part of Neon Valhalla is actually... Figuring out a good, figuring out and enacting, I guess, a good strategy for how to go about the boss fight. Once you have a strategy going in, I really don't think that boss is too bad. I actually think it's quite fun, especially because you know, in the in this playthrough, you guys remember I might have mentioned. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I, I had to do a bit of a different strat than I did on on Twitch because um, I didn't. I'm doing this. Uh, in general, I'm doing all these dungeons earlier than I ended up doing them on uh, on my Twitch playthrough. Um, yeah, I think the next wave will probably be set up, so let's actually just try and take this guy out now. I expect a, a simpler wave. Yeah, that's that's much more reasonable. Okay. Um, and that, that made the fight, you know, I, I had to kind of do some of that planning again, uh, which was fun. I, I really, I actually stand by Valhalla. Valhalla is actually one of my more favorite boss fights in the game, actually. Um, yeah, you know, I wouldn't have said that when I was first fighting him, because it did take me, I think, about... I want to say six hours total, you know, between my first attempt against the boss, which I almost... which I, I made it very far, um, and all the prep I did for the first and, you know, the, the refight. Um, it was a lot... I spent a lot of time on the end Valhalla. But even after all that, you know, once the, now the dust is settled, I, I, I really did enjoy it. It was, it's, it's a very satisfying boss fight. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do here. Um, I'm still set up for magic damage. These guys were only reflect physical. I think I'm gonna uh, actually. Let me go for. Uh, let me go for a focused one. Thunder spirits haven't taken any damage yet, so I'm not worried about healing them. Um, okay. And that being said, though, everyone's very susceptible to stun. If I do on his arrow rain, I know I'm going to get some counterattacks. But I think that's fine. I think that's still the right choice here. Because um, we're pretty much going to get... It's, I think it was actually... Oh, wow. It's a guaranteed stun on every single enemy that it hit. Okay. Is this guy stunned? Let's see. Um, you're stunned. You're not. I don't think this is going to kill you, to be honest. But I'm just gonna throw out an attack. Uh, you had defend up, which is the main. Oh, did she? Oh, oh, I got the that thing to happen again. Okay. Um, so she probably lost all of her buffs. I'm gonna check. This is this is still a, a known. I don't know about no. It's it, I, I think it's a known bug. I don't know if, if it's one that's on Matt's radar. Yeah, she lost all her buff, all her buffs. Okay. Yeah, that's the bug where if someone dies and gets revived in the backup, they actually still lose all their buffs. Even though they shouldn't have, um, but that's that's fine, really. Let me just do this again. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Um, they reflect physical. 
But that being said, I think I'm still probably... Uh, here, let me do this. Okay. Um, but yeah, but a little bit about the boss coming up. Just, just generally. Uh, we are gonna scan him and do a bunch of prep beforehand. It's... I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's very... Like, it's it's a, it's another challenging fight like Valhalla was, but it's very different from Neon Valhalla. Um, let's go here. Water, it's okay. Um, I kind of just want to kill this guy, really. Um, sure, let's just try that. Okay. Um, it's a very different fight from... In, Val in Valhalla's case, um... A lot of the, the, the trouble comes from the bombs it summons, which but they're all very susceptible to various status effects. So you can kind of do some, you know, off-handed strategies to, to basically use a lot of status effects to your favor. Uh, that is absolutely not the case with the boss coming up. I actually think the boss is immune to almost every notable status effect in the game. Um, so this is... There's terribly little you can do in the way of, um, of actually inflicting status effects. <laughs> and he, he just has some really devastating attacks. Like, the fight is fairly simplistic, I would say. But I, I consider that a weakness in this case because of the fact that there's not a whole lot you can do to actually mediate the challenge. All of the, the challenge basically comes from the fact that you can't really do anything to stop what he does. I think he's immune to weaken, curse, t uh, t I think he's immune to almost all of those status effects. Um, like the major debilitating ones. I'm pretty sure he can't be poisoned or burned or anything. Well, I mean, obviously. If, just from context, you know, burning wouldn't even help anyway. But you know what I mean. Um, oh, Varia's still on cooldown. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's do... I don't really want to do Slime Bunny yet. Let's just weaken him. Weaken him a little bit. Uh, that might be too much, actually. Let's do Poison. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get into a bit more of the details once we actually uh, go in and scan the boss. But... It's just... I, I don't enjoy it terribly much. Uh, I... Yeah, it, it also, it probably took me less time than Neon Valhalla did. Yeah, I, I think it took me a bit less time than Valhalla, but I, I found it a lot less enjoyable, personally. Um, here, what are, okay, and then you do Slime Bunny, there we go. There we go, okay. Alright, we're going in about as stacked into this next wave as we can be. Hopefully, if we're really lucky, we'll get a, uh, a haste from, from Ana here. Or a free kill? Oh, not quite. Okay. Um, that being said, I might actually be able to force a free kill. If we, um... Do a bit of this. Let's, let's go for it. Why not? Uh, uh, what else would even be useful here? I guess we could do a coal... Uh, order. What are some of the other ones here? Accuracy and evade. Sure, they can, they can evade up. Why not? There we go. So now, we should go in with full turns. Okay, so we got a golem and two monoliths. Okay. Obviously, this guy we can debilitate completely by just freezing him. Which is good. Uh, let's see. Being said, I'd like to do... A bit of damage first. So let's... Uh, actually... Okay, so he's still got, so he's got Aero Strike. So let's re-up on your magic attack. Should have done this beforehand, but that's okay. They can't, you can't really debuff their magic defense that much, so I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go for the Aero Strike. It's, it's pretty good, all things considered. And then we'll just do single target freeze on the goal. I don't want this guy to ever take his turn. Um, we're already gonna be, we're already gonna be taking some pretty hefty attacks every turn. So if I can avoid, if I can just remove one of them from being able to attack at all, that would be great. Um, okay. Problem is he doesn't actually have any more bomb attacks that are on cooldown right now. Do a hyper beam. 
Everyone does still have morale, so the laser is not going to kill anyone, but the other attacks could very easily kill. Let's do a bit of a setup with this. I mean, it's not really a setup. I'm not... I thought about maybe trying to fit dry into it, but I just don't think it's gonna... I think we're just gonna kinda... Just kinda impromptu drop a Hydro Beam and see how that does. It's quite good, actually. Quite good. Two turns of dry. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think I could have siphoned them. I think this is gonna be fun. Oh wow. Okay. All right. That was that was very fine. That was that was so much more than fine. Okay. This will probably. Uh, let me think. Can I do a bit better here? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think this is probably gonna almost kill the monolith anyway. Yeah. With the dry in there. Yeah, that was that was just destined for great things. Let's do this. That's not too bad. Okay. We're, we're certainly gonna come out on top here. Oh, I probably could have, yeah. Could have killed him off, but. Oh, okay. Well. Pretty easy game. Yeah, not even their defense buffs are gonna, gonna be enough to save these guys. Okay. Let's finish him off with some style here. Yeah, there we go. 40,000 even through defend and 30 magic defense. Really, really quite good. Okay. I find it actually took longer than I was expecting. Okay, so really quick, because we have the Thermal Boots, we can pick up this little little pickup here. Uh, dark, uh, Free Dark Matter, which is always handy. Okay, so let's see. We got a couple, couple rocks blocking the way to this last chest. Plutonium core and some processors, very commonly used resources. Oh, missed this as well. Okay, Ruby and Spence. All right, not too bad. I think that's everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a sneak peek into the boss fight. So you see, he starts out with some ores. This is his main uh, enemy summon of choice here. Uh, the murders of my brother Poseidon. Mm. Doesn't seem too happy about that. I Vulcan still agonize for revenge. Yeah, this is Vulcan. Um, drop a little scan here. Um, so you see he has an astronomical amount of HP. What is that? Three million? Almost four million? Yeah. God of Volcanoes. Powerful fire and bomb magic. Some wind and earth attacks. Yeah, so those are basically all four elements that he uses. Um, he's split into three main phases. I actually know the phasing of this boss fight a lot better than I know almost any other boss. Just because I had to plan very well for this fight. <laughs> So you see, yeah, he's immune to pretty much any status effect you'd ever want to inflict him with. He can be staggered, which is something to note. He could be dried as well. Um, and wet. Those, those are really the only ones that are going to help you. Um, heavy and light, those are worthless. Um, but the, the, the dry is really good for bomb setups, and the wet is really good for free setups. Most likely you'll be doing bomb setups. 40% um, 40 resi 40 resistant to all debuffs except evade. Which is good for capturing. This guy is a major, as you can tell from this resistance set, this guy is a major pain to capture. Um, <laughs> that was another big part of the challenge, was actually being able to capture this guy. That being said, I didn't have some of the capture, I didn't have the capture fly, fly bot accessory thing that I have this time, so that'll make it a bit easier. Um, but anyway, you see his main weakness actually is water and holy. Um, but basically with this guy, if, if I recall, his number one... So, in he, like I said, he has three phases roughly for each third of his health bar. Um, I think it's not quite that, but it's that's that's a close that's a close enough approximation for now. Um, in his first third, he uses, I think, two fire attacks and one attack that's like 25% earth or something. Um, the earth attack is his most powerful attack by far. That attack very often wiped out my entire party. I'm just gonna go ahead and use up all my steroids now, by the way. Um, whoops. Okay. How loud is that, actually? Okay. Um, just gonna turn this down a little bit while I'm doing the, the steroid spam here. Um, yeah, the, the, the drive-by attack where he just uh, plows through you, that does astronomical damage. Hits your back up, too. You could very feasibly lose all five of your party members from that attack, if, if I recall correctly. That attack is by far his most devastating. The, the Just a general strategy, what I would always do is I would... 
Spain. I would, I think I'd even use like a um, an ancient monolith right at the start of the battle, and I would literally force him to leave that phase as quickly as I possibly could. <laughs> like no, no messing around. I needed him out of that phase. That attack is so, and I think that's. No, I think he can use it in his second phase, but in his second phase he has about five different attacks, so it's a lot less likely that he's going to use it. Um. And yeah, his other two attacks are fire, so if you're packing a bunch of fire resist, you basically have a one, in, a two and three chance of him doing almost nothing uh, when he attacks in the first phase. But the the earth attack is just so devastating. I'm trying to remember how to actually get to, you know, I totally forgot. You actually, I could have gotten this so long ago. I totally forgot about this. Um, it's just some floppy. This is nothing too valuable. I totally forgot. I made the same mistake on my first playthrough too. And he gets a beer here. I thought that this was going to be connected to the catacombs, uh, but it's actually not. It's just in the back of the building. I'm really, I'm really surprised no one's caught me on that. I'm very surprised. Oh, also you can get a pepper from here, which I thought I did, but okay. Um, yeah, in his middle phase, he can do, I think, the earth attack. He can summon some bullets, I believe. Uh, he's got a couple, still uses, I think, two fire attacks, and I think he might have a wind attack thrown in there. In his last phase, I believe he has... Uh, interesting enough, I think he actually switches to uh, mostly magic attacks. I think he has like two wind attacks and a fire attack or something like that in his last phase. Um, but in his last phase, he has an ability where he will basically um, get a whole bunch of buffs and then give himself haste and then just attack you immediately. I think he only does the haste on epic and maybe hard. Um, but... If he uses that attack, you are basically dead. He will buff his attack and magic attack, I think, by 80. And it, you're you're just dead. You, you have almost no chance of surviving at that point if he ever gets that attack off. So the other strategy is that you pretty much don't want him in his last phase ever. Um, so either you need to get him into his last phase and then catch or kill him immediately, or you need to try and capture him before he enters his last phase, which I think is what I did. Um, sorry, okay. So I'm gonna actually do some forging here. I'm gonna try and get any piece of equipment fully upgraded that I think I might actually use in this fight. So let's see, we're definitely using the flame suit. Um, the Sapphire Saint's good because it's a water weapon and it also gives fire and burn resist, which is pretty handy. Um, so this will probably be what I use on Matt. And it's also, you know, water is one of his primary weaknesses. So this will set. This will make it make for really good cleaves and stuff like that. Um, besides that, what else might I actually use? Here's one of his holy weapons, the Heaven's Gate. We, we got to max out the Heaven's Gate here. Angel Mirror. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna use the Angel Mirror. I could just capture again later. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so we got this upgraded. What else do we want here? Officer's coat's not a bad choice, I don't think. Um, I haven't fully, I haven't actually spent the time to go back and rethink about how to how to do this fight, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm just going to be upgrading basically anything that I could see myself wanting to use in this fight. Um, Earth, I usually like to have one character that's just stacked with Earth Resist stuff, uh, just in case I need to take one of his drive-by attacks. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some nano fiber. This is pretty common. Let me get a few nano fibers here. Very expensive though, so I'm not. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Um, so that's probably good enough there. He does have bomb, which honestly his bomb attack is quite significant. I think I had one time where he just kept spamming it, and bomb was one of the only elements I wasn't that prepared for. So that's actually something to keep in mind. Um, dragon armor will definitely be on someone. It's just really good. That's maxed out. That's good. This is honestly one of the first fights I could see you actually feasibly using equipment swaps in. Like in the middle of a battle, which is something I almost never do. Um, I'll revive you. That's, that'll probably go on someone. Um, the thing is also, status archer on Ana is not that good in this fight. So I actually will probably do an alternate uh, equip loadout for her. Just because there's, there's nothing you can do with him. And the thing is also, as the fight goes on, I think each phase he continues to summon stronger and stronger ores. Eventually they're like, I, I want to say by the end that ores are going to be in like, like level 40. 
So, like, early on, they're pretty insubstantial. Um, I don't think that's the right word. Insignificant. But um, by the end of the fight, they will not be. You will be having a lot of trouble with the ores. So, and that's another thing you kind of have to balance is... Um, let's do that. Is your... Um, is the ores. What I like to do is just keep them incapacitated as long as possible. Um, usually absolute zero is one of your best bets, because I think every single ore can be frozen. Um, then you can, I think you can only summon from a select few. Um, I'll actually look at that a bit more in a minute. Okay, let me see. So you're probably going to, she's probably going to mostly be holy, honestly, so let's do that. Uh, ah, he also is susceptible to, obviously, um, enchant and um, yeah enchant I, I think that'll that might be something that comes into play here as well basically for max damage setups uh, enchant or casting enchanter and viz is greatly beneficial to you and is probably something I'll end up doing um, let's see I don't really want to do that yet uh, what is what are you you're probably gonna be packing bomb if I had to guess. This has fire and earth resist built in, so this will probably be... This will almost certainly be his weapon of choice going into this fight. Um, Desert Scorpion's is good, really. Uh, that's not too bad either, though. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. What is this one? Oh, this also gets fire resist. Okay. Those are all worth considering, then. Honestly, he can't inflict any of these other elements that effectively, so Lance is definitely going to be using bomb this fight. Uh, let's see. What, could, what might you do? Holy, perhaps? Uh, this has fire resist. Randomly cast arrow rain, which can be helpful. Can also not be helpful if I'm trying to incapacitate the ores, but, you know. This gives fire resist and is more defensively oriented. Gives defend. This could be a decent option, actually. The, the regal turtle here. Um, I mean, really, she can use most of the elements that he's weak to very effectively. So I've got some... I've got some flexibility in what I want Ana's to be. Most likely, I'll want to base my equips around one specific character doing a lot of damage and then other people kind of supporting. Um, so, for example, if I want to focus on Lance doing damage, I'd want to make sure that someone else has the ability to inflict dry, stagger, well, not freeze, I guess, but dry and stagger really is all you can do in this fight. Um, I probably won't go for this one, but sure, why not? Just in case. And for no legs, uh, he is going to be on capture duty, most likely. Again, but, uh, what elements can, can he use? Water and holy? Uh, he'll probably go into the godly book. I guess King's Guide would also be a good choice. Um, yeah, Crucified Fallen's good, but this is a really good, this is a really good weapon. Um, this is generally good, too. I'm just gonna upgrade this, just cause. I, I'm not, I'm not going all in on, on maxing out my equips just yet. You know, we'll, we'll work towards that point. But for right now, I'm mostly just going for the stuff that I know I'm going to be using in this particular fight. Because it's it's really that bad, guys. <laughs> this fight is that hard. I actually need to make sure that I, I spend a lot of time preparing for it. Uh, silver plates. Buy a few of those. Uh, all of these, like, flame badge... And bandage are definitely two that are going to be thrown on someone. This is good. I, I should have upgraded this a while ago. Same with this one. Blueberries? Alright, well, I have to go to a different store for that. that no, no legs is definitely going to have that, so we'll do that. Um, it's just generally useful. Okay. I think we're going to go pick up some blueberries, and uh, I, I think we should be oak. Uh, okay. We should be okay on our equips now, I think. Good enough. I'll have to take some time off screen to finalize a setup. I'll go and look at the VOD on how I did this on Twitch and see if that's a uh, excuse me, see if that's a feasible a feasible strategy to go for a second time. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, I can improve on it, and hopefully, I I can do it without you know maybe without losing. That'd be nice, considering I think that was the case. That was that, that happened with the Neon Valhalla refight. Uh, wait, no, I forgot. I'm the the premium dungeon is just in this town. 
Um, so we'll see. But, uh, I'm definitely gonna need to take my sweet time. Uh, this notice actually, if you enter in the left and right side, it actually puts you on the corresponding side. That's a nice little touch. Um, alright. What is that noise also? Whenever I walk- oh, it's the sp- I think it's the spikes retracting whenever we walk in. Okay. Just wondering. Um, but alright, I think that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check the description for a link to my Twitch.tv channel, where currently I'm streaming uh, Dicey Dungeons, as well as, hopefully by this point, uh, we'll be a couple streams into Borderlands 3 with uh, my buddy Sacred Survival, uh, formerly known as Mr. Ichigo 9000, for any of you guys who have been around that long. Uh, <laughs> so if you guys are interested in any of that, check out the Twitch. I typically stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. EST, but the Borderlands streams, I have to work around his uh, work schedule. So those can be at any any point in the week, really. Um, and any any work any weekday, it can definitely be weekends. Usually not, but maybe a, an odd Sunday here or there. Um, also check the Discord if you want to keep up to date. Uh, I'll always post there whenever I know the uh, the stream schedule for that week is going to be weird. Uh, so that's a good way if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the Borderlands three streams. Um, I'm planning on playing as Zane, by the way, and he, I think, is going to be playing as Amara, if that's of particular interest to you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, next time, we will hopefully be ready to go, and, um, I'll get on the piece of bread. And we will be taking on the fourth super boss Vulcan here. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.